Hi, you're here with Mark and Hunter from Alaska Boys, and we're going moose hunting. We're gonna get Hunter a bull moose. Oh yeah, we are. You pumped? Yeah. All right. So we gotta load this plane up, get ready, and we're flying out to the bush. We got it all loaded up in here. We got our camp for two guys. We'll be out for three days. We're ready to push out and get going. We're teaming up with my buddy Paul. We're gonna be a flight of two. It's here in his plane. He's got an outboard 25 horsepower jet motor and a raft and we're gonna fly out get that thing inflated and uh, get out to places where no one else can get to so we can get hunter or moose All right, we uh, we made it to our spot. There's a couple other parties here, but thankfully we've got a secret weapon and uh, Paul's gonna taxi his plane down so we can unload it. Hunter scoping out where we can set up the tent. Hey, does that look like a good spot for the tent? Yeah, I think anywhere around here would probably be good. You can kind of pull it back. You can get this thing in on your own. I cannot believe we get that Paul got this in on his own. <laughs> this is just gorgeous. We decided that this is going to be a better camping spot down here, close to where we're going to put the boat in the creek. And so I'm going to walk up and taxi the plane down here before it gets any darker. We are flying in here and Hunter kept saying, Dad, this is the most beautiful place I've ever been to in Alaska. And I was like, you know what? That's a win, even if we don't get a moose. <laughs> well, hopefully this is not a giant folly. We'll see. In the morning, we can go track down a moose. So we've got the boat all set up. We're gonna let that just sit all night. And uh, it's just about dark. We gotta get our camp set up and go to bed. First thing in the morning, we'll be heading out in the river trying to find a bull. All right, Hunter, let's see if we can get the tent up before it's dark and uh, get things organized. That is so pretty. Yeah, we're just gonna camp right here. I moved the plane so we'd be closer to the boat. That is so beautiful. Up there you can see that glacier. And 5 30 in the morning. Let's find some breakfast. Nope. We're getting up early so we can get after the moose. First light. Okay, we're all set. We're gonna push this thing down into deeper water and uh, right and heading down the river. I'm going to go check out some meadows. This is where a bull has been scraped. 
creepy. It's hard. Yeah. Hunter. So this tree right here has been, uh, you can tell the moose have been scraping on this tree here. They're uh, scraping the velvet off of their antlers and uh, they come back to these spots year after year. So that's a good sign. All right, well, we're back to the river, back to the boat. Got to regroup. That was, we spent a couple hours in there hunting and it was exciting for a bit. We could hear a moose scraping its horns on some trees and a uh, yeah, same bull or another bull grunting. and. Just couldn't find them, so we'll uh, regroup and head off to another spot. Kind of hard to know what to do. The moose probably are bedded down usually this time of day, so we're gonna drive the boat down to another area, see if we can hike out to a meadow and uh, and sit in glass for a couple hours. See if we can keep Hunter still and quiet long enough. But uh, otherwise, kind of have to wait till the evening and see if they start getting active again. we go back into another meadow. Seems like those big bulls we saw, there's at least three moose and one bull. Mm -hmm. They were moving kind of quickly. We just, by the time we got up here, trying to be as quiet as we could, nothing. So, I'm gonna climb this tree and find the moose. Oh, so 
Oh, I just got all these bugs. Well, we've made it back to the river, but we're trying to find our boat. We've been wandering up and down. Made a rookie mistake of not leaving a uh, GPS waypoint on the uh, where the boat was. Thankfully, there's a really nice trail here. There's beavers all over the place. And they've been trimming all the brushes, bushes back. Looks like Hunter found the boat. Hey, good job, son. Oh, that is a... That is a good sight for tired hunters. We've been at this for over 12 hours. Yeah, we came right down through there. Okay, we got that boat tied up for the night. We're heading back to camp. I think it might have been two different ones in the morning. It might have. I mean, I for sure, the scrape came from one direction and the grunts came from another. Yeah. And then we saw those others. I mean, all things considered, I feel <laughs> fortunate we had as much action as we did. I just, it'd be nice if we could have made it into a, into a play. Into a play for Hunter to get us moose. Oh, man, I'm glad we made it back safe. So many things could have gone wrong, but they didn't. Should we fire up the stove? Oh. Fire up the stove and get some food? All right, another fine morning. We're out, gonna give it another go. See if we can get Hunter a moose this time. All right, back at it on our second morning. We're hiking into a couple of their meadows, and hoping we can see some more moose. Pretty tired getting up this morning after working so hard all last night. Well, we spent a few hours here at this other spot and it kind of turned out to be a bust. Not very much sign and really thick. So, we kind of used up some of the best part of the morning. We're gonna go see if we can go try some other spot. Yeah. Chasing fish, what's it doing? All right, we lost sight of the bear. We're not sure if it went behind a bush or not. Paul went to check this beaver's 
beaver pond for, uh, for a moose. We're waiting to see if this bear comes down a little bit to give Hunter a shot. are big. Probably died in here up here during the winter. There's a bear track. There's another bear track right there. Next to ours. So, that's a sure here. Hunter, get on it, get on it, get on it. Let, 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 let him back you up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul's gonna back you up. Okay. Hunter, get, get on it. Start, make sure you feel solid. You just tell me when. Uh, Paul, do you have a round in the chamber? I do. Okay. Wait till you get Paul. Paul needs to be back up if he can. He's just good. Okay, this is good. Good, you're good. Uh, it's hard. It's okay. It's all right, Hunter. All the mama moose whose babies are going to be killed in the future by that bear don't think it's okay, but it's okay by me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here downstream from where we were. We saw that bear, and right along this river here is serious eaten down trail and uh, all the all the bushes are about waist height for us so it's kind of hard to walk on but those bears they just slip right under and I can see right where that bear was out on that sandbar fishing so they're just going around walking the shore here we couldn't ride we couldn't go any further up the river because of these rapids so that's why we had hiked up that last part there and probably why we saw those animals out there careful hunter yeah. Oh, it's good. It's not trying not to get hooked up on a rock or anything. <laughs> it's all good, man. I think they think there was a soft shore. You crazy son of a gun, man. We made it. We made it. Well, <laughs> we made it back. Thank goodness. That was a lot easier than. Holy smokes, we're right up next to the. Like, it's crazy thinking about how far we came. Yeah. That was seven, eight miles or something yeah, at it least. Was a, it was a long, a wow. long trip. Wow. Sadly, we didn't give a bear a ride back down the river with us. But it's how it is. Okay. Oh, feels good? Yeah. What an adventure, man. Man is right. Moose, bears, planes. <laughs> Lauren sent me a text saying, I'm, I'm glad you didn't shoot the brown bear. <laughs> uh, well, our beautiful sunny day turned into a downpour. Uh, we got Paul's boat all loaded up in the plane. He's getting ready to fly out of here and all of a sudden we got a torrential downpour. Hunter was out there trying to catch a few fish and it landed a couple nice trout and it looks like he got caught in the rain. You all right? <laughs> Helping you cool off? I got your rain jacket in the plane or it's in the tent? I'm not sure, I brought it in though. 
Paul's all loaded up. He's heading home with the raft. Hunter and I will head soon. Man, this trip we've seen it all. Sun, rain, wind. Just a few minutes ago, Hunter was telling me about how excited he was that he got to see that bear and almost shot a bear and saw the moose and all those things. I mean, you don't get a second time to be 12 years old, so what an awesome experience. You know, I think I'd be a fool if I thought we a successful trip was only when we pull the trigger, so it's good to be out here with him. And Man, well, hopefully that rain stopped and we can, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the tent's all wet now. It's been an awesome trip, man. Okay, kick off your shoes before you get in. Sadly, we didn't get one, but that was a good trip. Well, not over. You know, Hunter, you can't judge a success. You can't judge a successful trip by whether we pull the trigger or not. We had some awesome experiences. Soft and good. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Soft. Uh, couple moose. Had a chance of shooting a bear. Two. Some beautiful fun. sights. Well, and you know what? We got 20 more days of the season. So. We made it home, bud. <sighs> Thanks for coming along on this awesome Alaskan boys adventure. We didn't bring home a plane full of meat, but we had a great time, and we'll catch you on the next adventure.